All right, so if you've clicked on this video, you're obviously having some sort of issue with your Garmin watch. And I've done several videos like this with my Garmin 945 that I bought almost four years ago. And throughout uh, the, the life of this watch, I've had to do many things like reset the watch, restart it, which I'm sure you, you all are finding now that you've had a problem with your watch. You're, you're searching on how to fix it, how to unfreeze it. Um, Restarting the watch is fairly simple. I have two other videos where I go in detail on how to reset the watch if you're having issues with connectivity to your phone, to Wi-Fi, things like that. This video is specifically going to talk about the, the dreaded blue triangle of death that my watch, my Garmin 945 running watch, finally got the original one that I have. I have another one right now. We'll get to that in a second. So what was symptomatic of my watch um, about in August, as you can see the top of this, looks like there's like an air bubble there. Uh, that seemed to be new to me and it's, it happened right after that. And basically my watch, I would update because the Garmin watch, if you don't have it updated or restarted every so often, it will do some screwy things with the heart rate stuff. The distance will get off. It won't, the location won't be correct and, and things will just be problematic. And I've talked about that in previous videos, but this watch was having increasingly uh, larger number amounts of issues. So I figured it probably had a software um, problem, software update that was needed, and I plugged it into my laptop, and you can't see right here, but oh, I'm gonna lift it up. my laptop plugged in to get to the Garmin, the, the, the Garmin Connect uh, Express app on the laptop. Figured I would try to do like a, a manual update that way and see what was going on. Update went through, it said it's going to load the maps and things like that. And it seemed to not get through that process. And so eventually I had to unplug it because it just kind of froze up. Basically at that point, the watch almost never came back up again. I searched all over the internet looking for how to unfreeze a Garmin watch, how to reset a Garmin watch, the Garmin uh, the blue triangle of death for a Garmin watch, just like you probably have all done looking at this screen. And so typically it'll tell you um, to hold down the top left button, which is the light button, uh, for 30 seconds, reset the watch, um, did that. And then when as soon as that you restart it again, you hold down the top and bottom right hand buttons. Do that okay and you know how you do hold them both down then there's one beep and you release the the start stop button and then eventually after the second beep you release the bottom and that would kind of do a factory hard reset on the phone i mean on the watch and uh it did it one time and it just never came back up again and again i tried for hours and hours and hours and hours trying to plug it back in because people would say if you plug it back into your laptop or connect it to your phone Somehow, eventually, maybe the boot system would correct itself and you could get a, a good boot out of it. And every once in a while, it will, it'll come out of the screen and it'll get stuck on the Garmin start screen. You get excited, like, oh, here it comes. And then it just never loads again. So basically, what I've found is that once it gets to the screen, for the most part, there's some sort of hard crash or system boot error. It's like the Windows uh, blue screen of death for the Garmin watch. And there's almost nothing that you can do. Because again, I tried every single thing I could possibly do to get this watch. I, even now, see it's turned off again. I plug it in, I've reset it, reset it, and just will it will not ever come back up again. So what I ended up having to do was contact Garmin and notice that they would send you kind of a factory refurbished watch, which I have here. Um, look brand new, no issues with the watch. You would send it to them, and I'm looking at my, my screen here. Um, they would take this watch as a deposit. Um, you would pay 288 is what they agreed to, uh, f for me to purchase this refurbished watch. And then, um, they would give you basically $160 credit for this. So it ended up costing you about $134 if you want to replace the watch. So I would can, I would consider that if you're looking, if you're not in the market for another Garmin 945, like I'm extremely disappointed that this watch cost as much as it did as a $500 watch, you know, four years ago, almost four years ago. And it lasted about a year, three and a half years. That's not great to me for that, that watch that it failed. 
Um, I'm not sure why. I mean, I kept it updated. I kept it restarted. I did. I don't wear my watch in the water, really. I don't, and even though you're supposed to, you could swim with this watch. I don't wear it in the shower. I, I pretty much babied this watch. So I don't have any clue as to why I would have that kind of issue. That watch should easily last years and years and years, in my opinion. It should not fail like that. So I felt that it was a pretty good deal, but then I got busy when I got the replacement watch and ended up forgetting to ship this watch back. So it cost me, this watch cost me 288 instead of the 134 like it should. Um, I think Garmin should, while I'm happy that they replaced it, I think they should do a better job of standing behind their products than, than something like this that, you know, barely lasts three years. And it's an expensive watch. This isn't one of the lower end watches that, you know, you could expect that you're going to get what you get from it when you pay $99 for a watch or something. It was an expensive watch and that was the most expensive watch I had purchased uh, to that date. So that's disappointing. Um, I know you guys are probably disappointed. I get tons and tons and tons of comments and questions because I have two videos that have just blown up on YouTube here. And um, I'm more than happy to try to answer. And I've been answering for years now. So I've created these videos trying to help people. Um, this watch that I have right now, the Garmin 945, has done very well. They sent me an updated one and I've kept it updated. I've had zero issues. And actually, it's almost seemed like the software was more updated than the one that I had. It just was different. I'm not sure what was going on. Um, I started seeing a lot more searches and comments about very similar things that I was seeing on my watch. So you never know if that was kind of planned obsolescence, whatever they call it. Um, if they're pushing like the old Apple I wa Apple Watch thing where, oh no, your phone now battery dies on it. You better get yourself a new one. I hope it wasn't that. <laughs> I really do hope it wasn't that. But um, never fear. I mean, if you have a Garmin 945, I've heard the Garmin 295 it does fantastic. The Garmin 9 or, or the Garmin 45 does fantastic. Um, the only reason I have this much watch is because I need a long battery life. So if Garmin can create an, an ultra running watch that doesn't have all the swimming and biking and all the nonsense that I don't really care about. I would love that. I just want a battery life that lasts for 30 hours or 35 hours and that just handles running. That's what I want. Handle accessories like heart rate monitors and things like that. That's what I want. So Garmin, make a watch like that. Um, I'm in the market for other watches and I'm going to be doing some research into that. And again, sorry you're having problems with your watch. Leave your comments below because a lot more people will come through like I've seen in the other videos and answer the questions because they've you know, they've uh, been troubleshooting their watches too, so they have good suggestions. But contact Garmin if you're having an issue. Contact with support and see what they can do. I mean, if you uh, can get, you know, an, another watch for 120, 830 bucks um, that could last you another three, four, five years, that's a pretty good deal, especially at the level that these Garmin Forerunner watches are uh, running these days at cost wise. So I hope that helps. If it does, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know if it fixed your problems. <laughs> if you've come to this point, it's dire. It's dire it, like it was for me. So good luck. Again, this is John with Motivation Theory Running. And uh, as always, run, rest, repeat. Talk to you soon.